It sees without eyes. It thinks without thought. It reacts faster than any human ever could. This isn't science fiction. It's the cutting edge reality inside the AI brain of military UAVs. Today, we're going deep inside the neural networks, decision engines, and learning algorithms that power the world's most advanced military drones. In this article, we'll take a look at several military drones and UAVs with AI capabilities. There are a variety of use cases for AI when it comes to drone technology. The military seems to commonly apply AI for allowing its drones to fly on their own, which requires machine vision. The US military seems to have started using drones in the early 2000s, and now they are starting to apply AI to these drones for possibly greater advantage. The military uses drones for ISR, intelligence, security, and reconnaissance missions every day. This article covers four real-world use cases from four military defense contractors that claim to offer either drones or the AI software behind them. Drone technology itself is a relatively new area of military technology, but military engineers took to combining drones with artificial intelligence rather quickly to create a product that in some cases might be comparable to the performance of human reconnaissance teams. Shield AI, AeroVironment, and Lockheed Martin all showcase how military defense contractors are combining current computer vision technology and image recognition with drones to solve military problems without the need of endangering human life. Shield AI's drone can purportedly navigate unknown lands without the need for GPS tracking. Autonomous drones could allow military operators to focus their own efforts on more pressing actions that engage their skill sets. As an example, Autonomous drones can be used to monitor the territory a squad of soldiers has just cleared in combat, making sure enemy reinforcements are not planning to catch them by surprise. There may be many benefits to autonomous drones on the battlefield, and those benefits, if harnessed correctly, could save the lives of operators and human resources of a military. This may be why the field of drones and artificial intelligence is bursting with real-world application and companies that have excellent real-world traction. All of the companies in this report employ CTOs from premier universities, and the U.S. Department of Defense is already using some of their products. We'll start our analysis of the state of AI-based drone technology in the military with a general explanation of how a drone might fly on its own. All of the drones highlighted in this report can fly without a human operator. Although there are differences in the exact design and abilities of each drone, in general, autonomous drones are similarly trained. Implementing artificial intelligence for drones is a combination of mechanical devices, navigational instruments, and machine vision. The AI behind the drone needs to be trained using a supervised learning process. First, a human operator pilots the drone themselves to collect visual and spatial data from the cameras and lidars. This operation is recorded. People then label objects in the resulting recordings such as a wall, mountain, or cliffside. The newly labeled recordings are then run through the machine learning algorithm that is planned to operate the drone. This would train the drone to distinguish between objects within the field of vision of its mounted camera. The algorithm would also correlate instances of turns and stops to the objects that the drone sees in its camera's field of vision. This would, in essence, train the drone to stop or turn when it encountered certain objects. The vehicle could then get a command to move to a new location. The algorithm behind the software would then be able to move itself and its operational payload, for example, the listening devices it is equipped with, safely to the determined location. In the case of autonomous drones, many of them utilize GPS technology and tracking to allow operators to plot the general path of the drone's flight. As the drone is operating autonomously, the exact flight pattern and maneuvers would be left to the artificial intelligence. For more on how machine vision systems are trained for self-driving cars, read our section on the topic on our report on crowdsourced machine vision training. We'll begin our analysis of autonomous drones and the machine vision technology behind them with AeroVironment's Raven series of UAVs. Most of AeroVironment's line of UAV products, including the Raven series, is designed to be operated and used in combat situations by a single person in the field. According to the company, military personnel in the field can assemble the drone in five minutes and toss it into the air to deploy it, as shown in the image above. 
Traditionally, teams of military operators work together on UAV missions. Some teams maintain the drone, while others pilot or plot the drone's flight course. Such a UAV could give military troops the capability to collect data that could allow them to move faster and check if they are being pursued during tactical reconnaissance, tracking, combat assessment, and cartographic missions. Drones could allow operators to make decisions without being concerned that they might be ambushed from the rear, for example. The U.S. military started using the Raven series in 2004, and it is currently in the field today. The U.S. Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine Corps all use the Raven series. The Royal Canadian Navy has also recently ordered AeroVironment's Puma series of UAV for maritime use. Neurala offers Neurala Brain, a namesake software which it claims helps drones equipped with cameras recognize and identify predetermined targets and then alert a human operator. Neurala claims its software can comb through crowds to find and identify persons of interest. It can also inspect large industrial equipment, like telephone towers, and generate a real-time damage report. Below is a short one-minute video demonstrating how Neurala Brain could find a missing person in a crowd. This also likely requires facial recognition, which comes with an additional layer of training. Photos of specific people, likely taken from social media or government databases, would need to be run through the machine learning algorithm as well. This would essentially train the software to identify persons of interest amongst a crowd. When equipped to a military drone, the software could identify a specific target in the field. The system then alerts a human operator that the target may have been located. Neurala claims that their software uses fewer data and needs less time to train, requiring only 20% of images per class typically needed, and 20 minutes compared to days. Image recognition training typically requires great quantities of labeled image or video data. It's unclear how accurate their software could be if it is trained on fewer images. The next frontier? Swarms? AI-controlled groups of drones that operate as a single organism. Shared neural networks for coordination. Dynamic mission assignment within swarm. Autonomous retasking and self-repair behaviors. One drone can scout. Ten can surveil. A hundred can overwhelm defenses. Despite advances, AI doesn't act alone. Most UAVs operate in human-on-the-loop or human-in-the-loop modes. Operators oversee high-level decisions. AI handles real-time calculations and targeting suggestions. Override controls allow for human intervention at any stage. It's teamwork, but with silicon speed. But with great autonomy comes great responsibility. Should a machine decide who lives or dies? International law and lethal autonomous weapons, AI alignment and value safety systems, the push for explainable AI in combat. We must ask not just what AI can do, but what it should do. Inside every military UAV lies a digital mind, an AI brain engineered for war, faster than thought, more precise than instinct, and still evolving. Subscribe for more cutting-edge military tech breakdowns.